Hello YouTube, it's Eyal again, also known as Chaos, and I'm uploading uh, this replay of a game I played recently on Ladder. I would like to thank uh, HD Starcraft, uh, it was after seeing uh, his replay on Daily Ladder 15 that I uh, decided to emulate it in uh, this game. Now when the game started I knew my opponent was Zerg, and I was playing random and I got Terran, and I decided to try the build at uh, shows them. So, here we go. Right, there's my 10th uh, SCV starting to be built, making my first supply depot. Pretty standard. Now this is a replay, but I'll be doing it as a first person view for myself. At the one minute mark, I skate down here and I see the overload uh, approaching so now I know where my opponent is and that means I don't need to scout him that early <clears throat> finishing the supply depot and getting the gas and as soon as I'll have uh, enough minerals I'll start my barracks Now, if you haven't seen uh, HD StarCraft uh, video, uh, the basic idea of this build is that you get an early gas, uh, build the barracks, and as soon as the barracks is finished, start working on the factory, and when that's done, get two starports. And the idea is to make two benches as fast as you can and uh, uh, attack your enemy. <clears throat> uh, well, let's go for. Uh, ah, let's just wait and see, see how it develops. I want you guys to be in the same suspense I was when I <laughs> played uh, the game. Uh, I was commenting that uh, he should have a nice view with his overload uh, scouting my base. Apparently, he doesn't speak English, so that didn't help. And as you can see, as soon as my barracks was completed, I had enough gas to make uh, the factory and obviously making a command, uh, turning the command center into orbital, uh, orbital command uh, for the mules. <coughs> now, as soon uh, as the first marine is out, I'm making a reactor. The idea is to delay uh, the Zerg player from doing anything crazy. Uh, by sending in four aliens. And as you can see, I just got my uh, second gas, put the three drones there, and now I'm going into scout. Now this is a uh, post patch, so you can click the refinery and it tells you how many harvesters you have working on it. That's uh, something new, nice uh, to have. Okay, I'm complete, and now I'm going to put the factory there. As you can see, my uh, SCV is just coming into the uh, Zerg's base. And I was surprised to see no uh, expansion there. Now my SCV was destroyed before I was able to click that building uh, what, that was being uh, constructed here. Um, I was thinking of throwing down a scan. Uh, but I decided that uh, it can't be uh, anything too important just yet, and I'm going to go in anyway with the aliens. Now, he has sent his uh, Zerglings in to try and uh, attack my base. Obviously, I'm walled in, and I think I could see from the aliens. <coughs> and my starports are now uh, half done. And now I get my four helions. There was a little bit of supply block there in the middle, but um, that wasn't very long. Okay, helions are away, and the first stop is getting the Zenaga Tower over here. Just to make sure no one scouts me, and if someone does scout me, to make them stop scout. <coughs> The good thing about Helians okay. is that they have uh, quite a good range against Zerglings. Now, here we go up the ramp. A lot of Zerglings. So I back up, 
so they'll be all in one line and now all these dark things are, de are dead at least one healing two healings are enough to one shot by the drones just need to get a good angle to get uh, several of them at once and I wasn't able to get too many of them but I saw that it doesn't have an expansion, it's only one base. Over here I was a supply block, so I uh, dropped uh, the supply depot. <coughs> and now I am starting to make my benches. Two benches in the way. And I'm thinking about getting cloak. I do have a lot of. Uh, Yes, for it, but I uh, decided not. Now, as you can see in the production uh, window, the Zerg player is just now starting to make uh, a Spire, and that's not a very good uh, timing for him because uh, he's in one base. He should have expanded uh, four. One base muta is never good again. So now I'm thinking of should I go with two benches or four, and I decided to not allow the Zerg to recover from that alien, so I'm sending two. <clears throat> and as you can guess by the thumbnail on uh, this video, the game is about to end just now. I killed the queen, and now uh, bye bye girls. So, obviously, this uh, strategy will be harder uh, against a more skilled player. I'm platinum. My opponent here was gold, <coughs> uh, HD is diamond obviously, and his opponent was also diamond. Um, but uh, as, uh, as they say, it's always good to have uh, more several strategies in your uh, arsenal, so you can pick and choose the one that you want to go, so you don't always do the same build all the time. So, that's my game, that's my replay, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, it was quick, and um, see ya!